as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we explored more of Zora's domain and ran into King Dorfin. Now, we are, of course, still trying to find the watery bridge that connects the Zora to the sky. That's the clues we need to find. I really don't know too much more on what we're searching for beyond that. It seems to be a little vague, to say the least. So, we're gonna be exploring a lot more of Zora's domain just to sort of figure out what that could mean. I'm hoping that some of the citizens at the domain can maybe give, give us a heads up on any potential clues. Because beyond that, I am totally clueless, but I'm sure we'll figure something out along the way eventually. So, I'm heading right back down here, and we'll see for ourselves. Because a watery bridge that connects them to the sky would, I would imagine, be some kind of waterfall we can just fly up, right? Who knows, though? So, here we are back in the domain, and is there anybody new we can maybe talk to around here, or something like that? I feel like, Zona, who is over here now, might be one of our best leads for it, so, or Yona, sorry. Hello, Sir Link, can I help you with something? Uh, the land of the skyfish. The land of the skyfish, you say? Hmm, I'm sorry, but I've never heard of such a place. I wonder if this land of the skyfish, perhaps it is simply a place in the sky that is in the shape of a fish? Hmm, please forgive my musings, I truly wish I could help you. Is there anything else I can help you with? I mean, yes. be well, dear Link. If I ever can be of use, do let me know. I hope we can chat more once things have settled down. That is where I am also a little bit curious because we did, of course, use the Sky Tower last episode. And we saw this in the sky. I guess I should mark this. Maybe we should go over to Sidon then. And that would be our best bet. It's just, it looks like it's straight up there, right? Maybe we can just point up that way. I don't really know how we get Sidon's attention with it, but maybe now that we've cleared out that part of the map, there'll just be something more obvious to figure out. I'm not quite sure. And we could also talk to King Dorfin again, but after that, I'm sort of out of leads. So I have to imagine it's this one right here. And now that I'm up here, I do have a better view of it. I do wonder if I could just swim up there, because that is not gunk like the rest of these. That is sort of that mixed water. Will Sidon say anything about that? We know that the mark of the king written on, of, on the slate refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that that floating rock in the shape of a droplet found in the land of the skyfish. If, if it is called the land of the skyfish, that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I'm sure that if we look at the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to some floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Like if you find any leads, please let me know what I want to know. You can see it falling from over here. So I'm just gonna march over and maybe we can just figure things out from there. I don't see no brightest day as it is out here. Sort of much easier to piece that together. The problem, as you can see, is it just sort of ends. So maybe Tulin can help us out. Uh, do I have the armor on right now? I do. So I should just be able to swim up the waterfall, right? Here we go. All right, we're gonna get the island. This is great. Floating Scales Island. Whoa. Look at this place. There's not too much to do here, it seems, but one thing I can do for sure is throw some splash fruit just so it's a little bit easier to get around. Get rid of this stuff too. There we go. And it looks like there's certainly supposed to be something here, right? Maybe? I will get rid of as much of it as I can just in case but this might not be what I'm after. Okay, yeah, now it's starting to look a, a little less uh, relevant. Maybe over here? I mean, there's these boxes too. Hold on, I'll get rid of some more of it. That didn't help. <laughs> hold on, hold on, boom, got it. Yeah, what if I break some of these open? I get some arrows, which is always nice, but I don't see too much more to do around here. Splashing all that away. Maybe under this little pile? Quite a lot to get to. But no, not really. Huh. Let me go back up again. There could be different spots of it. I mean, obviously there's not any other waterfalls. Okay, I'm definitely a bit confused. Not too much over here. There's another crate on the other side. I might just be missing something obvious. There's two crates on this side. So maybe something cool? A little bit more to get rid of? No. Okay, break this open. Get 
a few more arrows. If there's arrows that it's giving me, then maybe there's something I need to shoot at. So I really don't see much up here. This is so odd. You'd think there would have been something more. We just got some cloud seagulls. What if I shot some of them down? I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do, but I can do it. I'm sorry, little seagull. I get a raw bird drumstick. Huh. Maybe it has to do with some of these rocks that are sort of shattered on the outskirts. Because I certainly don't see anything to really interact with. This is so odd. Some bits of it are broken off. And I would just keep throwing the splash fruit, but just none of it seems very obvious. I don't think it's anything under the belly of it. I was, I'm, this is a little bit of a letdown. I thought there'd be more up here. Okay, right down on this side, maybe there's more. Once again, I see more I can throw onto this, but maybe I have to just clean off this whole thing. Is that the idea? I mean, I'm running out of ideas here, so I can certainly try it. But that's all that's on this side. There's so much of it, though. It might take me some time, but... Clean that one off. There's another one over here. Gotcha. I hope I have enough. I think I do, but... With that one all cleared up, there's a little bit more on this side. Yeah, we got two more spots over here. I'm gonna have to go and collect more soon, I guess. Go ahead and toss this over. So I did reload my save, and I don't see too much of what I do, but it has to be with like these. Oh, that makes a shape. Wait, no way, is this really? What do I do with this? Uh, Do I go through it? Is this where I use, I mean, it's called, what is this? The, the, the floating scales island. That's a scale. I might be wasting more materials here, but at this point, I'm willing to try it. King Dorfin gave us some of his scales last episode. Maybe this is what we need to do. Where are they? Uh, they probably will be way down here. There's so many things, there's so many things. Uh, maybe, I hope I didn't pass it. There it is, there it is. So, King Scale. What if I just shot it through? Whoa! We did it! What is this? Because it's a teardrop. It's gotta maybe make an easier path up for everybody? I don't know. Whoa! And into the water. Oh man! That was crazy! Clues to the sky complete. That was one of the trickiest puzzles yet. So let's see this out. Um, first, clues to the sky. When you shot the mark of the king into the drop of visible from the land of the skyfish, a pillar of light appeared in the reservoir in the eastern part of the domain. If the writing on the ancient stone slate is correct, this should indicate the hiding place of the watery bridge. And then of course, Sodden of the Zora got updated. A pillar of light appeared in East Reservoir Lake. The clues you gathered from the repaired stone slate suggest that this will lead you to the watery bridge. Sidon will want to hear about this. You can find him in Mifa Court. So I guess we'll go to Sidon first, because you know he's sort of on the way anyways. Wow, okay, that was pretty crazy. I'm glad we figured it out in the end. It was definitely tricky. But it looks like Sidon should still be right down here, trying to cure the water, right? I'm guessing Sidon really can't come with us, can they? Oh, where'd they go? Oh, there you are. Oh, they're talking to Yona, Lady Yona. Lady Yona, it is far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Darling, I came here because there is something I need to speak with you about. I have been thinking about for, I've been thinking for quite some time. Hmm? Oh, hello there, Link. Huh. What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? Huh. You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle and the pillar of light appeared? If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open up if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light, as I was just about to say. 
For a long time, I have been concerned that you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But my love, if you, th you and Link join your powers, I am certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true. However, uh? whatever is troubling you, Sidon, why are you hesitating so? Hmm. It, it simply is that, uh-oh. Huh? More if it's bubbling up. It's another sludge monster. Uh-oh. Ew! It's so gross! And it's like a like like. The sludge like, the ambusher of me for court. Oh no. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sidon, we can take care of the water, at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. You were right, as ever. It's up to you, milady. Link, please, I must ask that you fight at my side once more. Will do. Oh man, this thing is creepy. The beast is protecting his body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly. We must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shooting you from our foe. At, the point, at that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Sidon's power of water. When Sidon's aura is charged, he can create a bubble of water that blocks an incoming enemy attack. If you swing your weapon, this water will be channeled into a long range strike. Whoa! So this is the sludge lake. When he told Sidon about the pillar of light of, at East Reservoir Lake, a sludge monster attacked. Work with Sidon to repel the fiend. And I will take a quick picture of them. That might count, it's not the most, uh, you know, nice picture. Well, that's the lights, uh, okay. I'm glad I got a picture of that, but I need a picture of sludge lake. There we go. <laughs> Whoops, much better. Okay, so. How exactly do I do this then, um, friend? Let's go. I'm blocked. And I guess I just... Oh, do that. Okay, now it's a, little, a lot more revealed. Now what do I do? Uh, Do we just attack it? This doesn't seem to be working too much. Oh, you got it, you got it. Just like that. Okay, where where's the opening? Camera's going a little crazy here. What are the strongest weapons I have? I have this Ly Lionel Boomerang for 28 damage. And that will really do a number. Come on, we got this. That was great. Let's team up again. Here we go. So we're nice and protected for the time being. There's more of that sludge is coming in. If I can run up on you, I can maybe just wash it all away again. That was great. I might wanna get that shielding just one more time, just in case. Now we can hit it. This is our chance. We got it, buddy. Everybody is in on it. <laughs> that was so cool. Wow. I think that's the sludge like defeated. I guess so. <laughs> you did it, Link. Take that, foul beast of the sludge. Is everyone all right? Looks like it. We are unharmed. Thank goodness. Lady Yona, if something had happened to you, I... <clears throat> In any case, it is possible that another monster will appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. The pillar of light that he had, that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky, or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dear Sidon. Your friends need your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. Well, of course it would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone in this dangerous place. Did you not entrust this task to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. But, Sidon, my darling, I truly appreciate that you worry so for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. But you are the prince of the Zora. One day, you will lead the people your, your, your beloved of your beloved domain. I can see right through you, whether you want me to or not. You are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. But I... Come now. Enough is enough. Oof. You are not acting like yourself. Hi now. You must leave this place to me. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart, as you always do. Like my old self. Like I always do. Yes, yes. It is all right, I swear it. I'm not going anywhere. I see, and there it is. 
clear as day. I was giving into my fear of once more losing someone I love. I... I... <laughs> Aha! You are right, Yona. I will not give into this fear, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. <laughs> Off we go, Link, to the Pillar of Light. <laughs> There's that shine in those teeth. I shall blaze on ahead, my friend. That's the old Sidon we know and love. <laughs> it seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I am so glad. All this time, he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Nifa, my poor tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking action because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet, he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me. At last, the Sidon I know and love has come back to me. Link, please take good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. I'll do everything I can. So Sidon the Zora has been updated. You defeated the monster with Sidon's aid. Yona pushed the prince to confront his fear of loss, and he rose to the occasion. He is ready to investigate the watery bridge with you. Sidon will wait for you near the pillar of light that appeared in East Reservoir Lake. Will to you. And if we talk to you, a little bit more. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> that is the first time in far too long that I have seen my dear Sidon wildly charging it and in and exclaiming, exclaiming with gusto. That is the Sidon I know. Sir Link, please take good care of him, as you know, as I know you always do. All right, well, let's open up our chest, a little reward here for defeating this uh, sludge-like. The Royal Claymore, a large sword now decayed, issued to the Royal Family's Guard. It's tuned for skilled users and yields a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. That's very exciting. I think I will drop one of these soldier claymores, and I will just sort of drop it just in case. I'm pretty sure we got one of these before, yeah, back in, um, the Hyrule mysterious cave thing, whatever that was. Um, but I guess down here is where we're supposed to go, so let's get to it. So as far as I'm aware, it should be right over this way. We're just sort of climbing up for now, but it's gonna be downward, so I guess I could just hop off wherever it seems like the right spot to. And it should be gleaming light over here. Yeah, okay, I already see it. But where is Sidon? Hopefully if we float over, we'll be able to see him pretty easily soon enough. I'm guessing he's gonna be on the dock over there. But yeah, I'm so glad the Sidon is sort of back to the way we knew him. It's very exciting. Okay, I'm gonna boost a little bit more over. But it was so cool when we teamed up with like Sidon and then we still had the, you know, the spirits here of Tulin and Yanobo. Just sort of this idea that we have this team fighting with us is a really cool concept. Oh, I see you! I'm coming, buddy! Watch out above! That must be... Hi. That's it. So that is a clue for reaching the sky. Oh. What could that be? Hmm. Just now, what was that? Hmm. Never mind. now is not the time for f flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? Well, from the water, presumably. Could we just swim I up it? Oh, there he goes. He really does swim fast. Oh my gosh! Wait, is he creating like a like a cyclone? Whoa! So powerful. It's just as I thought. I can see an entrance at the bottom of the lake. I'll make a path for you. Dive in, Lee. All right, here we go. Sidon of the Zora. Sidon used his impressive swimming prowess to create a whirlpool in the lake, revealing some kind of entrance on the lake bed. This may lead to clues about the watery bridge. Jump into the whirlpool and investigate. <laughs> All right, well, this is a little scary, but here I go. I guess I just want to jump in. Uh-oh. Ah! Let's hope we make it through. Whoa. And underneath is definitely something. We're through. 
Upon jumping into the whirlpool, you find a vast space filled with ancient ruins. You may find a clue about the watery bridge among them. Seems like the Zora had a lot of ancient ruins that nobody seems to have known about. It seems like a lot of stuff washed up down here, so maybe I can open up this chest. I might have to uh, move like this and grab it. That should be fine. Hopefully this has something good in it. It has a Zora sword. Well, we've uh, gotten one of these before. As you can see, I don't think we need another one exactly. So I might leave this be for now. But I can always come back to it, I suppose. And I don't see too much else. So I'm just gonna climb on top of this thing and just try to move our way over. I do see, is that some kind of drain over there that's been plugged up by the rocks? It might just be. So maybe I could just get over here very quickly and just break it open with my sword or something. I might need something stronger than a uh, boulder hammer, but we're gonna find out. Here, might have to jump and swing like this, but closer maybe. No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There we go. That broke it open. Now the water's raising. So I guess with that, we can at least get up here. That's great. But what more is waiting for us over this way? Because are we technically in the depths right now? I don't think we are. Sort of in this middle spot. Hmm. Whoa. Discovery. Ancient Zora Waterworks. Wow. Okay, well we definitely have to explore this as much as we can. There is more of these that we can sort of get to. And I wonder what that is. Some kind of giant sort of tube. I will just get this one right over there like that. That really should be all I need. And then with this, I guess it'll raise the water level. Got it. Oh no, I was hoping I could stay on that platform. There we go. So yeah, I guess we're trying to just continually raise everything until we're sort of closer to the top or something. Because this one up here, you can see it's still plugged up in there, but a little farther in. Oh, and I do have another chest waiting for me right here, so I might as well snag that. Hopefully this one actually has something I have the space to pick up. It is a Zora shield. This is a new one. A Zora made shield adorned with intricate ornamentation. It's said that the true masters of this shield can redirect attacks as a rock redirects rushing water. I guess we'll do, what will we wanna drop here? I mean, I have a lot of these. I really also don't need the Sapphire shield anymore. So <laughs> I'll leave that one. We will hold this shield out a little bit right over here so that I can definitely get a photo of it. I need to do self portrait and then just face it from the side. Zora shield. Very cool. So yeah, another shield found there. Always good to see. So how am I getting up there? For a second, it looks like there's a ladder, but there's not. I mean, I could be a little bit more direct with this and I could just use a bomb arrow. I mean, if it gets the job done, why not? So I will roll this all the way over here until we get by. What if I just did it like this? Okay, that would have been faster. Whoops. Um, that got it. Okay, we don't have to try to find our way in there. Awesome. Saves us some time, which I appreciate. So, where are we headed to now? It looks like the next one will be over here. So I would like to uh, swim up this, get across, and keep going. Hmm. Yep, we'll get up to this side too. I guess our next one is this one to the left, but what is this cave over this way? This could be something too. I'm definitely a bit confused on which way would be the best way to go. I guess I'll try this way. Maybe it'll loop around behind it. Whoa, are you a new one? No, it's just an ice lake, which means if I were to use, ah, you're scary, I don't like it. You did not budge at all, okay. Ooh, that's gonna get you. No, we're frozen. I gotta break out of it. Gotta break out of it. Okay, if I can get over there quick. No, there's another one. Ah, oh, geez. 
I thought the fire arrows would do more of a trick on you. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's just dodge all the ice clouds then. Which you're throwing a lot of. Then I shoot this. And if I focus in on you with the Ruby Sword, you would think this would do really good, right? It really doesn't seem to be doing too much. Okay, well, uh, instead of doing that then, I got the Sonic Smash, I might just try to smack you. Oh, so it's badly damaged, though. I really wanna use something better. Uh, we'll use the Line of Bloomer. So well, we know what to do. We need to back up a little bit. Throw, let you throw out all your icy stuff. Oh, it's so hard to dodge that stuff. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Somebody please hit that. Ready? I don't have my bow out. Ah, I just barely got that in time. Oh man, there we go. That was tough. You'll drop another chest for us, as well as a bunch of ice fruit and the ice lake soon. Yep. Then in here, Azora bow. Okay, so we've gotten Azora bow before. I think it's worth getting again. We'll drop our current bow because it's the least damaging one that we have out of our set. And now, we'll head up here. So, oh, oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize that there was gonna be a bubble frog in here. <laughs> we'll get you really quickly. Oh, 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 was that enough? It was, so I'll go ahead and grab this bubble gem. And with it, we are at 19 in total. Yeah, I guess it has a little, yeah, the ancient Zora waterworks. Has a little check mark to it, so that's really good. But we're not quite done here. We gotta go around some other way and try to find the way out, or I guess some kind of ruin of some sort, so we're heading down here. But I'm glad we got rid of that ice lake. Not the first time, and I'm sure not the last time. I mean, it's really this that we're trying to get to, for sure. But to get to it, we need to keep raising the water. So what's to do with this next one? It seems like I could get in there fairly simply, right? Maybe. Uh, I might also just start slipping, because it seems very wet in here. Yep, this might not work. Okay, can we just jump off really quickly? And then, do you want to help me out here? I might have to cook up some food. Is there more in this one? I don't think we've been in this one, right? What is that? Oh, it's a keys. It scared me with how it was hiding out there. I didn't like that. This is like a whole maze. Okay. Ah, trudge around here as much as I can. It's scary. Let's get the Zora Spear out. Oh no, there's another one behind me, isn't there? So I guess I could maybe ascend up through this at some point and get somewhere. I'm just trying to explore what we have here first. Get a good idea of everything. All right, one, two, three, got that. And over here, another one, all right. Grab all that choo-choo jelly. And then you guys, luckily can get knocked out in pretty easy shots, but is this where we entered from? I think it's the other side. Yeah, I see, okay. So I might just be more thorough than I need to be right now, but I'm just trying to make extra sure. You can see that there's some stuff up this way, which I should just be able to ascend through. All right, this might be our ticket. Aha, it is. So obviously, I have one of these already. I can just break it open, and that should be the last stretch of water. Whoa, here we go. Are we just gonna be pushed out of that? We might be. I did notice another opening over there. But this seems to be all we need for this part. Oh no, we're still at the, the spot we were at before. Cool. Where does this ladder lead though? Now I'm very curious. It might just lead to that opening I think I saw before. Definitely. Okay, yeah, I saw this in the cutscene. So I should just be able to grab this, give it a pull. And I guess, with Tulin's help, I should just be able to fly straight over. That was pretty easy. And with this, I can certainly activate something. Whoa. What is this? Oh man. Whoa! Is the whole island moving?
some fresh water. Well, not the freshest water. Fresher water than that gunk. Now that we can use. Whew. Quite the waterfall. So where are we in all this mess? I think we're still in the uh, the ancient Zora waterworks. No, we've caught up. A waterfall, a waterfall descended from the sky. Link, what happened? Is this your doing? Yeah, it is, sort of. Aha, so you activated a mysterious device in the ruins. And the waterfall appeared. Hmm, ah, I believe I understand. To Azora, a waterfall is no different from a path. That must be the meaning behind the watery bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well placed as ever. I'm glad. Uh-oh. Huh? Here. Come here. Come to me. It is happening again. Is someone calling to me? What was that sound I just heard? Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. With your Zora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. Let us be off to our next adventure, Link. I mean, I can climb it too, but I wouldn't mind riding on your back. That was fun in the last game. Oh well, side down on the Zora, or of the Zora. When you activated a mysterious device in the ancient Zora waterworks, a jet of water erupted from the ruins high above. Even a Hylian could climb the resulting waterfall by wearing the Zora armor. Then let's get to it. We have the Zora armor. Uh, we can just start swimming. And up we go. Quite the swim for us, but with this armor, it's no problem. We are going up so fast, too. This is crazy. The Wellspring Island in Lanaira Great Spring Sky. Wow, look at this place. And I wonder where, where Sidon is. I think he's yeah, right up there. So I guess we'll have to explore around this place and this seems so cool. But what are those? Is that an enemy? It's a, it's a bomb in the water bubble. Huh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> we got a floaty jump. This is so weird. Uh, okay, I guess we just have low gravity around here. This is really cool, I like it. Um. I guess we'll have to do something with that. There's a chest in this one. I think that's a chest, right? Yeah, it looks like it. If I were to throw one of these splash fruit, I should be able to get it. What's inside of this one then? Soldier three blade, that's new. A strong large sword used by the Zonite and made of Zonite. It resonates with the attached Zonite devices to increase some of its attack power. Okay, well I think I'll just drop one of the Zora spears then. And as per usual, I wanna drop this just so I can take a picture of it because it is certainly a brand new weapon and a very powerful one at that. So exciting. So I got that, picking, picking it back up and maybe I'll just combine the, uh, the, the, the Zora Spear with the Zora Spear just to make a Zora Spear Spear. All right, gotta make sure I'm pressing the right button this time. There we go, we got double the damage. So, what's the deal with all this then? How incredible. What is this place? My body, it feels light as a feather. This is a strange place indeed. But right now, we must focus on locating the source of the sludge. Link, it is time to divide and conquer. Let's split up for the time being. All right, goodbye Sidon, wherever you're going. And I guess we'll just, oh. Can I hop into that water? I guess if I hold on here, I'll wait for it to produce another one. I'm a little worried. Okay, here goes, whoa, hold on. So I'm inside the bubble right now, for better or for worse. I can see some enemies over that way too, but I'm just really curious about what's up here. And then maybe I could just, Dash out of the bubble? <laughs> okay, that worked, that worked. Now I'm up here. I could go up that way, but it seems like there's plenty of ways to go and discover things. 
mean, there's not too much on this side. So maybe I'll leave that part. But with all these enemies waiting for us over here, this has gotta be something. I'll drop down a little bit. <laughs> I can go so slowly though. Got it. And I wait for a moment. I got that one. So that's at least some damage to you. You might be a new enemy though. Soldier Construct 3, you are. Not a flattering photo of you, but it is still a photo. And you are also a Soldier Construct 3. So, oh, they are scary. I wanna keep my distance with my spear spear. Got it. Not too bad then. So I will grab all this. We get the Soldier Construct 3 horn. A serrated horn from a Soldier Construct 3. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase attack power. It can cut through plants and large trees. And also a bunch of other goodies. Don't have the space for the bow. This is a strong construct bow, so if I can take a look. Those are usually 14 damage. We don't have anything that's less than 14 damage though, so I will take a shot at you and then get over there. <laughs> that's right. It's so crazy how just sort of slow we go. Okay, about to push you off here. I'll grab what I can from that. Very nice. I'll keep going. Seems like there's definitely some more enemies waiting for us on this side over here. What was this island called there again though? This is the Wellspring Island. Gotcha, so definitely some springiness to our jump, to say the least. Oh, they don't see us yet, somehow. <laughs> so they should be able to. Oh, they're stuck in that sludge. Oh no, so am I. We're just gonna keep sludging through it then. Trudge through the sludge. And then you over here. Whoa, hey, watch it. Let's get rid of you quick. Ah, we broke our one spear. Got it. Well, I definitely wanna grab that spear you just dropped in the sludge. Cause that might be a new one, technically? We'll see in a moment. Yes, it definitely is. So, jump out of all that. Take a good picture of this, the strong Zonite spear. Very nice. So I definitely wanna pick this one up. To do that though, I might have to drop what I'm currently holding. A tough spear used by the Zonai. It is highly durable. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to increase some of its attack power. So we get more attack power out of attaching these things with Zonai devices than we would other things, uh, or just you know Zonai items. So if I go over here, one of my new ones, of course, is the Soldier Construct Three Horn. I should hold one, drop it, and fuse it with this. I think that'd be. Could I, wait, this. Oh, it already does. Okay. Oh, I see. Well. If I go to the weapon, destroy that fuse material, and fuse it, this would still be better. Yeah, way better. Very damaging spear now. I can't hold that just yet, but I can come back for it. Looks like the sun is raising over there. So what's the deal over this way, though? And I'm not seeing too much more in this direction besides a treasure chest at the very end of it. Which, hey, I don't mind just finding extra goodies like that. So we'll get over to this one, just like that. And we get a big battery, a battery with an improved comp compression rate. Though disposable, it holds multiple times as much energy as a normal battery. And that's our first time finding that one. So, whoa, whoa, that scared me. There's stuff under it though. Huh. Anything cool? Oh, I hear you, oh no, you're new. Uh, Captain 3 Construct, okay. Get a good picture of that. And could I fuse this? Wait, what? Why does it say I can? How could I fuse with, with the ruins? Whoa! That's it shrunk it down so much. Huh. Okay, uh, ow. That didn't work out so well. So you have that laser upgrade, huh? Interesting. Let's try the soldier three spear, but I would actually like you to get over so I don't knock you off the edge. Jump! Jump! No, that's not the direction I wanted to jump at all. Or just get over here. Could you please not knock me off? Thank you. And then, oh, we're all hammering on you now. Keep going, we're not quite done. Oh, there it is. That was so cool. So they have a beam emitter club. We have a brand new different thing here. This is a Zonite longsword, or strong longsword, something like that. Very cool, we're finding new stuff all over the place. A strong large sword used by the Zonai and made of Zonite. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to increase some of its attack power, as per usual, the strong Zonite longsword. Uh, what should I drop? I have a lot of stuff here. 
Um, I'm thinking at this point I drop like the Zora sword. It's a great sword, but I got plenty of other things to worry about. So I'll pick up that. We also have the mighty construct bow, which we've had before, but not too many of them. So if I could just drop a, I think I'll drop a Lysel bow. Pick up the mighty construct bow. I really want this beam emitter club. I really, really want it, uh, but I just don't think I really have the space for it. So I'll just save what I have for right now. Grab all that, and we got the Captain Construct Three Horn, a sharp blade like horn with a complex tip. It took, it looks almost decorative. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. So that is certainly something we need to get a picture of. I didn't even realize at that moment, but fold, uh, drop it, and picture. Perfect. So, with all that figured out, doesn't look like there's too much to do around here besides blow back up. So we'll find our spot to do that. And if we do break some weapons, we could always return here and get some more, you know? Uh, exit from here. And I guess we're continuing the way we came in. Don't see too much else to do in this direction, but that was well worth it, for sure. So I will, I guess, make our way back over from where we came and see where else we can go with those bubbles and stuff. Anything up here? Not seeming like it, but I will climb up this way. Well, even our jumps are sort of boosted. That's cool. I mean, our jumps from climbing, obviously our normal jumps. <laughs> I know that part. It looks like there might be another chest inside of that goop. Definitely. So, let's free it from the goop. That should be good enough. Give it a good yep. kick. And we get the Soldier 3 Spear. Type Spear used it by the Zonai. Again, you know, I don't think I need this one as much. So many I could get rid of here, I know. I've tried to use my weapons as often as I can, but there's more stuff pops up. So, maybe I just drop this one? We'll see if that's a good idea. I guess there isn't too much pressure if I, you know, end up passing up on a good weapon because I'm finding so many of them so consistently that it hardly makes too much of a difference. I wonder if I could just use Ascension from here. Uh, yes I can. Okay, that'll make that a little bit easier. Now that we're up here, where do I wanna go? I guess I'll just wait here for a bubble. And where exactly will this bring me? It looks like this one just brings me straight up. A little scary, because I don't want it to pop the worst time possible, you know? Okay, gotta dash forward, glide, to one, help me out. I think we'll just use that to get up. That feels much easier <laughs> than having to worry about all those bubbles and hey, we got company. Gotcha. Let me run over there really fast. And then, oh, oh, the slam. Didn't really quite work the way I wanted it to. Oh, I'm getting the two for one shots there. That was great. Keep up with that. Oh, but you are holding it all out now with the shield. Uh, oh, you know but with the assist. I appreciate it, buddy, but the shield is still a problem. Come on, one more. Gotcha, that was good. I don't need the old wooden shield, but I will pick up all the extra little goodies there. I don't see anything else in this part. I mean, maybe up there? I don't think we can find Korok seeds up this section, right? I mean, maybe, you never know. So if I can take a peek. Not see anything. Okay. Whoa. What about this? And that's where we came in from before. That's where we just got that one treasure chest, so. Oh, can I use the hydrant to get rid of the gunk? That would make sense. Yes, I can. And with it, there's a treasure chest or something. Oh no, that's another hydrant. All right, now we're getting rid of gunk all over the place. What's down there? Oh, there's more gunk to get rid of. Hold on. I'll just pick it up. It might be a little bit more direct for us. There we go. Gunk be gone. I can't quite fit in now. Okay, there is a treasure chest for us though. So I'll grab this. And we get an old map, a very old map that shows a marked spot. Spot, what could be there? Well, it's gonna be in the depths again, way over that way. Running more and more of these old map locations. Okay, I need to get this up there. Using up all my battery at the moment, so I might wanna just hit it, help to cut it out for a second. Just until our battery restores. It looks like I could, oh no, 
activate it again, get rid of more of the skunk, and go under. Is there really much down here though? Besides, you know, some silent rooms. Not really looking like it. I guess I will pick this up and put it up here. And just clear out more stuff. Okay, we got it. Oh, I can just climb up this. Oh, that was convenient. Okay, I'll throw it just like that. Oh, it goes flying. It goes flying. I forgot about the low gravity. Okay, gotta turn this around. Much better. And it looks like there's something under there. Of course, I'm trying to be pretty thorough with just adventuring around and finding what we can. I think for now I should turn this off. No, wait. Gotcha. All right then, so yeah, let's head down this way. Whoa, a little too far. It looks like it's just gonna be a couple of hardy radishes. Those are so nice to have. I say that, but I haven't used them to cook at all, but I just haven't been in the mood to really stop and cook too much in the game. We'll get there, we'll get there. So this is where I probably wanna actually drop it. Activate it again. And just water things up as much as we can. Ooh, there we go. So what does that do for us though? Um, hold on. Uh oh. Here, uh, turn that off for a second. I mean, I guess we could just swim up this, sure, but. Oh. Wow. Okay, so we definitely need to use those to get around a little bit. I do see a shrine up that way. That would be really useful to get. So I'm gonna swim right up that one. But there is also some stuff over here that I can't help but go check out. A treasure chest full of who knows what. Riches untold. We have Hoverstone times three. So we got some of that Zonai device before, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I don't know if we've actually gotten that as a Zonai device yet, so I should read it. A Zonai device that can defy gravity and hang in place. Ages ago, the Zonai may have used this technology to create islands that float in the sky. You know, that probably makes a lot of sense. We're heading over here then. I can maybe swim up another one. I think I see Sidon over there. Certainly see something. Oh no, that's another enemy. Never mind. Don't tell Sidon I said that. <laughs> I think you'd be a little disappointed if I got him mixed up with an evil robot. And what's down that way? Definitely some more stuff. I don't think I've been down there, so first let's go activate this shrine so that I have easy access. The Egoshan Shrine here at Lanayru Great Spring Sky. Okay. Let's head in. Orbs of water, the Egoshan Shrine. So I guess we're using more of these water orbs we've seen before. Now the tricky part about these, oh, and we still have the extended jump here too, neat. But the tricky thing about these is that if you spend too long in them, they do start to explode. So we wanna get out quick, but whoa, there's a treasure chest. And now it's gone. Okay, but it fell again. It's like producing more of them. I mean, I'll take one. Will this have stuff inside of it? Yeah, large Zonai charge. That was a pretty easy chest. Very confused about that, but we have a bubble here and it's about to explode. Guess I gotta be quicker with it. Um, no, not rewind. Whoops, but it is good to know that I can rewind it. Cause, you know, I can get it all the way up there, but would that really be enough? I'm a bit confused on what exactly I am to do here. Um. Oh, you know what? I really do use it to recall, but let's actually get a little closer to it. So I'm going to hop into this one. Oh no, I hopped a little too far over. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. All right, so it's bringing me back up. I've messed this up multiple times now, so I'm just hoping I can get through. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Okay, now we're just swimming through this one. I guess I can cancel that. I really can't from here. So let that do its thing. And then we gotta quickly get out of this. Woo, close. So it looks like we're almost to the end of this. I really don't know if that was the only chest of the shrine, but I really don't see any others. So it looks like for this one, I'm supposed to just head up there, which I'll do in just a moment. I'm just still looking through and making extra sure. 
I think there might be a chest up there. No, that might be the lantern behind it. I think we'll get a better view if I actually use the right thing. Hold on. Uh, if I bring, everything is so bouncy. Put this about here, get this, and then just let it fall. I don't think it really needs to be all that connected. Let's see. All right, here it comes. And then we should just be brought with it. Very cool. So this should get us everything we need. I'm not seeing any other chests, so I'm just gonna guess that one it gave us sort of as a freebie was the one we were looking for. And there we go, we got to the end of the shrine. <laughs> a little tricky to say the least, but here we go. So now that we've made it out of that shrine, we're back here at the Wellspring Island. And with it, you know, which way are we still headed? Because we had checked out all of that over there. I think we're just heading up here now, right? A couple of gliders and stuff too. What will this do? Usually these, yeah, push us farther. Gotcha. Have we been down there though? Oh, we haven't, look at this guy. Okay, let's try this out then. But oh, this one has a chest connected to it? That's interesting. So, I might just wanna, this is Flux Construct 2. Uh-oh, that means we need a picture of you. There we go. Oh no, we might be in some trouble here, but I'll give it everything I got. Wait, not that. Really? Keep on picture, sure, yeah, that's not what I wanted a picture of! Okay, come on, give me a chance. Why can't you just not attack me and just smile? Real bright for the camera. Plugs construct to you. I just don't know why it's always so finicky. There you go. That's all I needed, that's all I needed. Uh, now I need to eat some food because I'm really hurting. What do I wanna eat here? Uh, oh, actually, some extra defense sounds fantastic. Oh no, can you please not do that? Don't squish me! Okay, where is it? I saw it for a second, but now I don't see it anymore. Um. Oh, I see it in the back. Oh, there we go, good job, Tulin. I'm gonna try hitting it too. Would some of you let me know that if I like were to grab it, I might be able to, I don't know if that works. Okay, that doesn't work, but, ah! Oh, good shot again. But I can maybe just bring it down towards me. Oh, there we go. That sends him flying apart, and with that, this is a really damaging weapon. Let's go crazy on him with it then. I'm going to start spinning around. No, I'm not, come on. Okay, now this is where it gets really messy, but I might just be able to grab it and yank it out of there again, right? There it is, awesome. All right, I'm gonna go crazy on you. As soon as it lets me. Ooh, come on. We're doing good, a little bit more. That's all I can do for now. Uh, I'm out of stamina too, which has me really scared because I don't know where it is right now. Okay, it's above me. Uh, ow. That was a little much, don't you think? Uh, I'll just eat this. There you go. It's gonna remove my armor, but where's the, the one? Oh, it's up there. <laughs> okay, well, that answers my question. I can't quite see. I'm so confused. What do we do here? Um, uh, not that. Dodges for sure. None of these are the ones I'm looking for. This is so odd. Did you hide it somewhere? Where did it go? Do I just shoot at the whole thing? That doesn't do anything. Maybe I have to send up it. Oh no, here we go again, here we go again! Wait, wait, I can dodge this. That's no problem. I can't ascend up it. Way too far up there. Gotta be honest, I'm a little confused. Uh, okay, is it coming down? Please come down because it's way too far up for me to do anything else. Wait, there's one thing I can do that I totally forgot I can do. Hold on. I can go up like this. All right, you better be ready. Here I, are you serious? Okay, never mind. Um, come on, <laughs> why is it so awkward? You know what, I'm opening up this chest. What's inside here? Sage's will, <laughs> okay, thank you. I got four of them. That's cool and everything, but how am I beating this guy? Um. Maybe if I just stand on it, it'll just disappear? Come on, that's so silly. Okay, throw another one at me then. This has gotta be it though, you know? This will all launch and then I I grab this, I hop on top, come on, please, are you kidding? Oh my goodness, it's too floaty at the worst times. Get onto this one. Please don't let it tumble over or anything. 
duck and cover. That way, yeah, here we go, here we go. Now you're in so much trouble, mister. I hope you understand that I'm going to beat you up. Just like this. The whole thing is gonna fall down. And with it, I will super slam. And then now that we're up here like this, maybe I can just switch to a sword I can swing a little bit faster at this line, I'll be right. Come on, we gotta be able to finish you off with this. Just a little bit more is all we need. Come on, let's defeat this Flux Construct. We got it. Wow, that was tough. But luckily, we did it without dying, so that was amazing. Very cool. So what do we get out of that? We get the beam emitter. We get two? Wow, or is this just one? Hard to tell. It's like two of them, for sure. You can't like detach them or anything. So what can I attach this with? Well, I had the strong zonite longsword. It's an attachment that we can just yet. So there we go, 25 damage extra, and then plus the five because it's a zonate thing. Look at this thing, the Flux Core 2 Smasher. Very cool. So that's gonna pack a punch for quite a while. Very cool boss fight. So I'm glad we could do that. I don't see anything else around here to do for real now. So I think we will just, actually, I spoke way too soon. There's plenty to do around here. There's more enemies to fight. So I guess we'll go check that out. And you know, I really like to explore these areas as thoroughly as we can. Gotcha. Going for you again right there. But the enemy damages and the powers are really starting to step up. Come on. Ooh, Ooh you know what? If I super slam you once more, just like that. I can pick all this up. Now your friend over here is in trouble. So I'm gonna do the same thing to them. Luckily they don't have super damaging weapons, so even if they found a way to hit us, I think we'd be safe, but I'm just gonna keep doing this. I probably shouldn't because uh, once again, we're trying to serve arrows. I've been using them a little bit too much lately. I can grab all that, more of the soldier construct horns. I do at least wanna see what's up here. Isn't this where we were before? It's hard to tell at this rate. It's not. We do get some sun lines for being up here. So it seems like there's maybe a spot to go up there. Plenty more enemies with a chest. Ooh, okay. Ah, okay, that's so scary. I don't like it when it does that. If I could just get over there really fast though. That'd be great. Wow, look at the sunset around here. That's so pretty. And I think with our super wall jump climb thing, we're fine to get this treasure chest. And then there was another one down below. So getting all sorts of rewards. Soldier three Reaper. I want that. I gotta drop something for it though. You know, I think, I think we dropped the eightfold blade. I don't know. Do I really need this right now? Boulder hammer? I'll get another one at some point, I'm sure. Uh, Let's fall down here. I'll try to use some weapons that pack a punch. That way when we run into more new weapons, we can actually use those too. How did that not hit your eye at all? I'm so confused. Wow, very unproductive. I'm in so much trouble now. If I don't jump out of the way, I need food. We also need to sit down and make some more meals for sure. Uh, but in the meantime, I don't have that opportunity. So what do I want to eat here? This will give me my swim speed up. I don't think I need that. Energizing honey apple seems great. Ooh, they're all hitting me from everywhere. Okay, no, I pressed, the, what? Maybe it's because I'm wearing a two-handed. I definitely was holding the thing and I s tried to, what's it called? Parry it, it just didn't work. Okay, there's one of them defeated. All your stuff is gonna go flying. Let me grab all of it and let me try out this thing. Cause this is with a, just a normal sword, right? No, this is a big two-handed still. I need less two-handers and more other kind of weapons. I can swing faster. But is that all of them? That's all of them, thank goodness. So we got that out of the way. Always good to see. Yep, more goodies to grab here. And this is another strong construct bow. That's a strong, con okay. So same damage as what I'm holding right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Instead, we open up this chest and inside we find a Captain Two Spear. It has given me so much stuff. So 26 damage as a spear is pretty nice. I think I just gotta drop the full bleed. Very cool sword, but I'll find more of them. I'm certain of it, so it's okay. Sometimes we just gotta lick out. In the meantime though, I need to get back to where we were. I need to be able to get some health in me soon or some food in me that will give me some health back. 
I guess for now. There's a lot we did here. Actually, I could just go back to the shrine because that's exactly where I need to get to, where I, I have I've been before. So, all right, let's get over there. Okay, so I'm gonna get a portable pod out here really fast, and I want to organize things yet yeah, by type because I need a hardy radish or maybe even a few of them. I do have the big hardy radish because um, what these will do will restore all of our hearts and temporarily increase our maximum hearts. So I think something like that, and then maybe just some apples or something. Let's add a lot of apples. Really make this thing nice. And this will make hearty steamed fruit, which gives us plus five. Restores your heart or your health and temporarily increases your maximum hearts. A regional dish uh, made by steaming near ripened fruits in the leaves of fragrant plants. I'm just gonna eat that right now so that we can Get our health all the way up there, feeling much better. I know I need to make more food soon, but I wouldn't want to waste multiple pots for that. Anyways, this is what we've been needing to get to. Um, I don't want to combine a wing with my sword, but what I can do instead, point this over here, get it like this, oh, a little bit over, got it. I could make more of a contraption here, but I really don't think I need to. So off we go, go! <laughs> All right, well, really use the element of suspense there. Um, I thought it would keep going. It really didn't, but I could just jump off from there. No big deal, no big deal. And what's going on up this way? Oh, another one, huh? That's not a new, new guy. Nope, okay, so I'll deal with you any way I can. Ooh, actually, it's an old guy. Let's see if I can't get you out of here. Ooh, dodging all of his stuff right now. One more hit should do the trick. That was actually pretty easy, all things considered. I'll grab all that stuff though, for sure. And then there's another Zonite Spear here that I don't really need too much. So I could get to the top of these pillars. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. So I don't see anything else really around here, so let's get to climbing. I just love, I wish we had the super climb jump everywhere in the game, it's so convenient. Oh, you know what, I was supposed to do it from here. Okay, so let's try that again. To send me up, and I guess over to these, yeah. So I'll get over as much as I can. We're sort of making our way to the next section with all this. I should be able to get to this waterfall. Got it. And there's another treasure chest waiting for us, so let's grab that one. Old map, okay, this is our second one we found today, isn't it? So that'll be somewhere in the depths again. We'll be getting busy the next time we're in the depths. There's these X marks everywhere now. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't check out the little orb place there. I will definitely have to check that out soon then. It's getting more of those is certainly important, but I guess for now, if I can get two of them to blast me over this way, off we go, we got a lot more here. And with this one, we will get another che treasure chest of stuff. So if I could just get down this way, what can I attack with? Well, let's use the soldier three, three sphere. You know, the chances are it's gonna give me another weapon again. So if I could just you know, use some stuff, it'd be great. So I can get you like this. I don't know if this stuff works against these guys. It will, that's great. So that gives me a good chance to just go crazy with some other things. Oh, they're, they're moving still. <laughs> that's so funny. There we go. Our Sonic Smasher broke with that, but honestly, that's what I was looking for. I think I picked up another weapon straight away. I did. I don't really need this one, so if I could. There we go. I'm getting up here, and I want you to know that I don't appreciate it when you hit me with an arrow. So I guess we'll go with something like this. Three shots is enough to do you in. It's weird that the farther up we're going, the easier enemies we're running into. Isn't that a bit weird? Anyways, not anything we can really worry about too much. I will grab some extra stuff. Not the sturdy wooden stick. That was the last thing I was looking for there. So I will drop that really quickly. Can't take that out now. Okay. There we go. Might as well go and grab this. If we can. Got it. And there we go. Soldier three blades. See, it's really, really worth it. To use my weapons, because I'm just getting more and more of them. I will climb up this way. And oh, we got more of the bubbles, huh? Wonder if I could just get through this without it, though. I could just use tooling. 
I thought that'd be a little bit more convenient. I guess we'll find out. Tulin, help me out here, buddy. I think this would be so much more convenient. If I can just land right here. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought I could stand on this. I can, he just didn't before. Okay, maybe this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but from here, I can just climb up this. There we go. I figured it out after all. And I think that still was a lot faster than if I did it the normal way. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. What's the deal with this? Will the water level lower if I move this? Doesn't seem like it. Let's turn that off. Cause there's clearly something up there, right? Water level is still exactly the same. But, can I grab these? I can. Great, so I'll get one of these real fast. Oh, there's more down there too. Did these just sink? They sort of sink. So what's my option here? Am I just supposed to stack up a bunch of them over and over? I mean, I guess it's like one way to do it. I mean, hold on. I might just be able to stand on this. It's not really the best way to do this for sure, but if it's enough, I'll take it. And where are we going from here, Sebastian? I mean, this will just give me a treasure chest, which is good and all, but I think what we're supposed to do is launch ourselves over there with a bubble. Oh, we get the Captain Two Reaper. Oh my goodness, it's just weapon after weapon after weapon. We don't need the Royal Claymore anymore. So I guess for now, I will not do this, but instead do that. Line it up about here, I guess. And we'll see if that's enough. So I'll wait for the next bubble to sort of roll on in. I feel like that wouldn't be the right angle. That still needs to explode though. So I guess we'll see in a moment. Sure does take his time. I mean, I guess it really needs to if we wanna to get to this next section. So you're gonna launch another bubble. Sooner or later. There it goes. I need to be ready for it. Jump in. I mean, this will maybe not lead how I want it to. It's sort of working though. Okay, this is where I'm very nervous, but I think we got the right trajectory. So if from here, I could just use Tulin just to do the rest of the work. That seems like it was a way better idea. Awesome. And look at this one. If I just uh, wash this off, will it be another weapon? Probably. It's an opal. Okay, I'm actually happiest I've ever been to see an opal. Because we could make a water weapon and start splashing it away with that too. That's you know, the big power of the opal too. But I don't know if we need to. It looks like it really expects me to construct some kind of flying device. Okay, I see what it wants me to do. If we get one of these and the carts, we should be able to fly right over there. We sort of did a similar thing. Wait, what are these? Oh, they're the platforms. I don't really need those right now, but good to know they're there. I think for right now, all I really need is that. Attach the fan to it, and we'll be good to go. Got it? So. With all of that, I don't know if it's the best angle, but we're just gonna try it. Here we go. We're moving. And we're already taking flight. We really didn't even need the, the cart part, did we? Oh, and there's Sidon. How did he get up here so easily? Very impressive. All right, I'm coming to you, buddy. Here we go. Uh, There goes that. I guess this is gonna use up my bonus. Oh no, I guess it doesn't automatically kick in. Hmm. This really is such a strange place. My body felt light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when I was climbing the waterfalls. As we are in an unfamiliar place, let us proceed with caution. Link, please take care as you forge ahead. Will do. Oh, and you'll, you'll team up with me now. That's great, so we got a little armor here. Oh, and it's you again. Okay. Well. I will just hit you with that, the water attack, ow! That did so much damage. I thought I, I could jump over it in time, which I guess I could have, but I just didn't time it very well. Everybody's trying to get you now. We have a whole squad here, and we're all just poking at you as much as we can. Got it. Jeez, that was ridiculous. And I can't move. Oh, that did something. 
Done and done. Link, let us keep pushing forward. I was weird that it sent me back like that. Anyways, I'm really beat up now. After all that extra health too. This is the mighty construct bow. Absolutely worth dropping our Lysel bow for. And we got the strong Zonite sword sword, which I mean, I, I'll take. Not the most damaging thing, but it's there. Um, and we'll go and join up with the Sidon over this way. Is that? What is going on up there? From what I can tell, all the sludge waterfalls are flowing from the ruins above here. In other words, if there is a source for this sludge somewhere, it must be. Link, once you are amply prepared, let us dive right in. I think I'm ready. Right, the time has finally arrived. Off we go. Are we hopping in after you? Sidon of the Zora. Resolving to explore the Sky Island, you arrived at some vast ruins that may hide the answers you seek. Follow Sidon, who went on ahead. So I think up there might be our next temple. And I can't wait to explore it with Sidon, but with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.